Hello YouTube. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get, install, and use a very, very nice malware program for removing spyware, adware, and other various malware uh, programs from your system. It also has the ability to go in and protect your system from hundreds of thousands of these things. Uh, the protection is commonly done through some of it's done through the Windows host file. It goes in and adds entries in there. Tells the system instead of whenever something tries to access it or tell it to go to this particular uh, site, URL, however you want to put it, it blocks it by telling that, that that actual location is directly on the local host, which is your computer itself. So it can't actually reach out to and connect to any of these malicious sites to download a malicious payload which contains the malware or spyware to get on your system. So in order to get this program, the first thing you're going to, want to do is either do a Google search and then go to the CNET link or follow, click on the link in my description and it'll actually take you directly to this page right here for the download. Spybot Search and Destroy I actually used back in the early Windows XP days for the longest time and then Windows Vista and 7 come out it didn't work version 1 point uh, whatever didn't work in Vista or Windows 7 so they started reworking it in version 2 it's now in version 2.4 and I found it again in version 2.3 and it worked great again this is a program I highly recommend and even for the value of just the things that it blocks from even being able to get on your system or your system from even being able to go to makes it very very worth it. This is a free program. It does have a paid pro version and uh, in the paid version for the most part you're going for the antivirus. So if you already have an antivirus program on there you really don't need it. It is worth it because it does help automate some things but for the most part the free version works fine and if you're already using an antivirus solution this is going to be an extremely great pair to match up with it. So we're going to click download now and your download should start automatically. If it doesn't you can click on the restart download right here and it'll start up. This is in Firefox so instead of save file as you're going to get the open spy bot whatever would you like to save the file? Yes we do we want to save it so click save file and for Firefox unlike uh, Internet Explorer and others where you get the little window down here for the download it actually comes to this little arrow right here and the arrow turns blue whenever the downloads complete so you just click on that click on the spybot file and you're gonna get the open file security warning click run for following that you'll get the uh, user account control just click yes and then once the setup actually starts, you can go ahead and close the browser. So now you're going to want to leave it on the default for English if English is your language. Just not select your language and then click OK. And it's going to come to the Setup Spy Bot Search and Destroy. Just click Next. You can leave it on the top when I'm installing SpyBot for personal use and we'll decide later. You can donate to it if you want to by install SpyBot for personal use and I want to donate now. Or if you're pre-installing it as a technician and you just want to get SpyBot on there for whoever's going to actually own the system, you can select the bottom one. For the most part though, majority of most users just downloaded it or fixed and installed it. You can leave it on the top. You can decide later if you want to donate or not. Click Next. Now, standard users, you're going to want to leave this one on the default. This is installation and usage mode. Just leave it on the default. I want to be protected without having to attend it to myself or attend to it myself. Just click next. Click I accept the agreement and click next and then click install. The install shouldn't take very long. This is a relatively small program. Okay, and now you're going to want to leave both of the defaults selected and click finish. And then you're going to get your start center pop up. If you're new to SpyBot Search and Destroy, select yes. If you're a veteran to SpyBot, you can click no because you're going to be annoyed by the pop ups. If you're one of those people that's generally annoyed by pop ups, select no. In this particular case, we're going to go ahead and hit yes because the pop-ups actually will give you more information and give you more options. Whenever you select yes, it's going to come up with a whitelist. If you just did the install and it's a clean install of Windows, 
then you can create your whitelist right now. If it's not a clean install, you've already installed other programs, it's already been connected to the internet, for the love of God, don't create the whitelist. Just click cancel. First thing you're going to want to do is go to the update that's in the background. Click on your update button. This is going to download the signature files required for this program to work. Signature files are the files that contain the information on how to identify different malware threats. Without those signature files, it doesn't know how to find any of them or anything. You're going to want to do this update semi-regularly so that way you stay up to date on any new signatures and different things like that. So this update is highly, highly important. The other thing is, is quite often whenever you do the update, when it finishes, it's going to come up and tell you the update finished with errors. That's fine. You didn't really miss anything. It's not really going to hurt anything. I get that every single time. It always works great. The update process can take a little bit. Generally, it's not super long, but it can take a little while. Once it downloads the updates, it's going to go through test packages. And then, as I stated earlier, an error occurred during anti-spyware updates. Don't freak out. As you can see down here, it'll tell you how many updates it installed. It installed 122 updates. So now that this is done, you can close this part out. And now this is where the magic's really going to happen. You're going to want to come over here and click Immunization. User Account Control will pop up. Just click Yes. And then it pops up and gives you the option for a full immunization or custom selection. We want full. It's going to go through, test your immunization status. Basically, it's going to go check your system and see if there's anything that's already been protected and what it needs to apply. It's probably going to find that there might be a few things protected. Most of the time it finds absolutely nothing is at all. It's going to protect over a hundred thousand things. So don't be too shocked whenever you find out that your system is actually amazingly wide open for malware and spyware. Or just malware in general. And as you can see, immunization check finished. Zero out of 188,827 items already immunized, which means nothing is protected. And 188,827 are still unprotected. So you're going to want to immediately click Apply Immunization to protect, protect yourself against those 188,000 different items. This process can take a little while on average I've found that it takes anywhere between about five and thirty minutes and as you can see it has officially finished and all 188,827 items are immunized so once that's finished you're gonna to wanna to come up here and click system scan user account control again is gonna pop up click yes And then right here, you're going to have a track cookies. Click disable these cookies. Any of these over here that are lit up that you can click on, click on to disable those and then click OK. Uh, this one's already got the cookies disabled, so we're good on that. So we're going to click start scan. This scan takes a very, very long time. Um, depending upon the system, it can take anywhere between 30 minutes and up to several hours. So if you have other things you need to take care of, go take care of it. You're going to be okay. You're not going to miss much. It's going to take a very long time to run this scan. It checks for all kinds of malware, and I mean up in the hundreds of thousands of them. So be forewarned. It's going to take quite a while. And when the scan finishes, it'll leave you with what it found. Here's some adware stuff from DoubleClick. Adware from FastClick. Here's some tracking spyware from MediaPlex. And from Castle Media. And if we square 
scroll down here you have from Internet Explorer some settings that are not great that it can go in and fix media player another one by the way the HKUS those are registry entries so there's some Windows media you down here to cookies cache files that it's found so basically everything that it finds it'll automatically select and then you can just come down here and click fix selected every one of those issues will be taken care of and they're gone spybot search and destroy is again really 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 good for removing malware and it goes after all forms of malware except for antiviruses unless you have except for viruses unless you actually have the antivirus installed so it is a very well-rounded excellent superb program this one i highly highly recommend this information's out there for absolutely everybody as always watch like and share have a great day